Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So we got the Charger General Lee in the shop, right? And we're doing a heater core on it, or we were going to do a heater core until I saw how expensive it was. And well, the client eventually wants to do uh, vintage air or classic air uh, on this car. And well, it just would not be feasible, I guess, to to do the the heater core replacement right now i took it out but i'm just going to kind of tell you all a couple of points uh and and show you the things that are inside the the heater core housing the, you know and that way you can kind of familiarize yourself with it in case you're gonna tackle on this project yourself so took the took took the whole center console out and took the glove box out so you got a series of screws up here and the little glove box just kind of you you kind of like crumple it down just a hair and then it just slides out through here it's kind of made out of that paper like material kind of like a like a cardboard material and then you're gonna have of course your little fuse box right here you got to take that one loose uh, your hoses you're gonna have two hoses right up there through that hole which you have access to through the um, through the engine bay so you're gonna have the two heater hoses that run out you take those loose and now that leaves these two hoses or these these two tubes uh, sticking out right I wasn't able to take them off so I just went ahead and took the clamps off of here and just let this come out with it because I didn't I didn't really have any room to to try to get these hoses off and they just wouldn't budge so I just let them come out with it. And that's the heater core right there. It's like a dual type heater core. This charger has AC or it came with AC from the factory anyway. Uh, it doesn't anymore. So this being an AC car, it has that bigger uh, heater core. So right down here, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have, I believe four of these little nuts. Uh, if I remember right, I think these are three eights. And there's gonna be one here, and then there's gonna be another one up there, and then you're gonna have some on the other side as well. And you're gonna have those Phillips ones down there. You don't gotta take those off. It's gonna look like you, you're gonna have to, but you don't. Um, and then this, of course, is your evaporator. So, but we're not gonna go into that one. We, it's just a process of replacing the heater core uh, for the sake of this video anyways. So, uh, you do not have to pull the complete uh, AC box out clearly I have it still in there so you don't have to do that so yeah once you take out those those four nuts and of course uh, this kind of just gives you access so that you can see what you're working with up here uh, you take off your your vent slinkies and there's gonna be some linkages which are right here uh, take photos and all that just to make sure that you know how all the linkages go uh, That linkage will be on this side right here. Uh, I just took the three nuts that secure the linkage off and As well as a little spring that's gonna be on the bottom and that is located on the heater core side of the box uh, You got to take those off because they're connected to this little lever right here or you could just you know slide off that lever I just noticed that that's just dangling there right now but uh, I was trying to pull that off from the whole um, uh, what is this the, the linkage system and it wasn't really being too friendly so I just took the whole thing off but um, so yeah just I guess give this a shot before I uh, try to take this off first you know it didn't have a it didn't have a cotter pin or anything like that and this is what goes up to the diaphragm up there see that little diaphragm that one uh, that diaphragm is hooked up with a vacuum hose which is connected in here into this uh, set of vacuum hoses up in there and all that runs up to your uh, climate controls that are vacuum controlled so let me now give you a view of the insides of this if you already gotten to this point um, you're gonna wonder how in the world to take this off and I already basically pulled it apart but if we flip this over 
you're gonna have this little window and the window I pulled it off it's right up here next to my Starbucks and it's got like little I believe these are four millimeter screws so you take those off and uh, that's a little lever that that you're gonna find up in there too but um so once you pull that off like once you put the little pull the little the little uh, window basically out uh, you're now gonna have access to these hoses there's gonna be two hoses that are in here and you can either cut them off which I mean you're already here you're gonna service it I would cut the hoses off and just put brand new um, heater hose up in there and when you get to the other side ouch I'm getting stuck there but um when you get to this part um you're you're gonna have and this is no good anyways so before somebody criticizes me this is no good anymore <laughs> so you're gonna have these two hoses right which connect to this and you can either cut them off and i suggest you do and then depending on how your system has been operating for the past you know 40 years you may or may not have this um this blue stuff right here you know the residue of a leak at which point you would probably assume that maybe this is like soldered but it's actually not so the way this works is basically you would twist this off and you actually have an o-ring right there see that and that's actually what seals off the connection between these two uh, lines, copper lines. And then this little guy right here, it controls a little valve that is right there. You see that? And that one goes hooked up with a little screw to this right here. So whenever all this is moving, it's, it's uh, moving this right here, you know, closing it off and opening it up. There's, there's a little mechanism in here that you know blocks off water and such so that's how that works so in case you were curious on how these two go connected they're basically twisted on and an o-ring seals it off so be very sure that if you gotten to this point you really need to replace those o-rings because by this time they're crushed and they need new ones and of course make sure you lubricate them uh, make sure you use a lubricant or grease that is not petroleum based in other words there is some greases that are actually bad for rubber so make sure that the grease is rubber compatible before uh, putting any grease on your o-rings because of course it's not exactly the easiest thing to get back into you know what i mean so yeah that sums up the video i just wanted to kind of show you guys what is in the whole heater core system uh, just in case you were curious on what the whole deal looks like in here uh, these are the two hoses that connected right here uh, and that's the, another reason why I cut them off because I kind of wanted to separate the two because you got the one that goes here which is solid right there I couldn't rotate this whole um, heater core couldn't rotate it unless I separated this from this you know so in order to do that cut the hoses be done with it they're old need to be replaced well if you found value in this video please hit that like button because it lets youtube know that this is good content thank you for watching until next time